Zelensky claims that the regained Lyman is completely cleaned of Putin's forces, while Ukraine estimates that more than 60,000 Russian soldiers have died and 2,300 tanks have been destroyed in their resistance to the Russian invasion. Lyman is cleared entirely. We appreciate our armed forces. In a video that was uploaded to social media, Zelensky said. The Russian invasion of Ukraine is moving forward, but it has recently suffered significant losses as Ukrainian forces have recaptured large areas of ground in a counteroffensive that began in September and has humiliated and angered Russia. Following Russia's forced withdrawal of troops from the strategically significant Lyman, which it had been using as a transportation and logistics hub, on Saturday after Ukrainian forces encircled the city in a counteroffensive that embarrassed the Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin came under scathing criticism from his own side. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the TASS and RIA news agencies in Russia reported that troops had left Lyman. Ukrainian, the Ukrainian flag is already in Lyman. In the meantime, Russian bombardments increased after Moscow abruptly escalated the conflict by annexing a significant portion of Ukrainian territory. According to court records posted online, Russia's constitutional court recognized for Moscow-occupied regions of Ukraine as having been annexed legally by President Vladimir Putin through treaties. Donetsk, Kherson, Lugansk, and Zaporizhia in Ukraine have been granted recognition as corresponding to the constitution of the Russian Federation, according to the court, allowing them to join Russia. The annexation of Ukrainian territory by Russia, meantime, was rejected by the presidents of nine NATO nations in Central and Eastern Europe today. Also today, Valentin Reznichenko, the governor of Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk area, reported that Russian suicide drones attacked the Ukrainian president's hometown of Krivi Rih in the country's south. One of the drones struck a school early this morning, destroying two stories of it. He also said that a fire started by the drone attack had been extinguished. Russian drones built in Iran have started attacking sites in Ukraine in recent weeks. The Ukrainian Air Force claims to have shot down five drones built in Iran in southern Ukraine during the course of last night, while two more managed to get past air defenses. Authorities recently reported that Zaporizhia was again a target of Russian attacks. The Ukrainian military reported on Sunday that it had attacked two S-300 anti-aircraft batteries, two Russian command posts, and an ammo storage in Chernihiv, in the country's south. The claims of military action could not be confirmed right away. Russia withdrew troops from Lyman in the east on Saturday after being surrounded by Ukrainian forces, which the British military characterized as a major political loss for Moscow. Taking the city opens the door for Ukrainian forces to perhaps advance further into Russian-occupied territory. In the Russian front lines ground communications and logistics, Lyman had played a crucial role. Lyman is in the Donetsk area, close to the border with Luhansk, which Russia annexed on Friday after intimidating the populace into participating in referendums. In the struggle to defend Lyman, Russian soldiers, according to the Russian Defense Ministry, inflicted damage on Ukrainian forces, but they withdrew to more advantageous positions because they were outnumbered. The UK Ministry of Defence deemed Lyman significant in a daily intelligence briefing because it contains a key road crossing over the Seversky Donets River, behind which Russia has been trying to reinforce its defences. Less than two weeks had passed before Putin ordered the partial mobilisation of reserve personnel to bolster his forces in Ukraine. The acrimonious finger-pointing revealed a significant rift between Putin's senior officials and his most outspoken supporters, including the Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and the Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov. Military commander and normally loyalist MP Andrei Gurulev claimed the Russian forces were heroes led by self-serving donkeys, he said, I cannot explain this surrender in military terms. Andrei Gurulev, a military commander and typically loyal MP, declared the Russian army were heroes being led by opportunistic donkeys. He said, I cannot explain the surrender in military terms. The issue is a system of deception that propagates positive information when the situation is negative. This corruption is a top-down phenomenon. No place for nepotism in the military, according to Kadyrov, who also referred to Colonel General. 
In a weird monologue lasting 40 minutes, Putin made references to colonialism and Satanism while arguing that the region would remain a part of Russia forever. Now that it is gone, Ukraine may be able to advance even further, maybe into the seas Luhansk region, one of the four that Russia annexed on Friday following a widely condemned vote in a referendum under duress. Lyman is significant because it is the next step towards releasing the Ukrainian Donbass. Seriy Cherovadiy, a spokesman for Ukraine's Eastern Army, said, It is a chance to advance farther to Kremina and Severodonetsk, and it is psychologically extremely essential. It does so as Ukraine this week revealed its intention to apply for membership in NATO through an expedited process. When speaking on, Putin added, I want the Ukrainian authorities to hear me and their real owners in the West so that they remember this. People who reside in Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, and Zaporizhia are now acquiring permanent citizenship in our country. He asserted that the occupied territories yearn to join Russia because of the tragedy of the Soviet Union's demise. We demand that the Kiev administration put an immediate end to hostilities, put an end to the conflict they started in 2014, and come back to the negotiating table, he continued. However, the 69-year-old Russian president disallowed talking about the four eastern territories' return. He denied it once more, saying, there is nothing stronger than their willingness to return to their true historic country. Even still, this week Putin increased his threats of using nuclear force and adopted his most strident, anti-Western language to date in response to Ukrainian victories on the battlefield, which he characterizes as a U.S.-planned campaign to destroy Russia. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, and his forces have vowed to continue fighting to liberate the annexated territories and other Russian-occupied areas despite Putin's annexation of four regions in Ukraine on Friday. Lyman, a city in eastern Ukraine that has been annexed by Russia, was being defended by about 5,000 Russian troops on Saturday, according to Ukrainian officials. There may be fewer troops encircled as a result of injuries. Seriy Cherovadiy declared, the Russian grouping in the vicinity of Lyman is surrounded. Colonel General Alexander Lapin, the officer in charge of Lyman, came under scathing attack from Kadyrov, who referred to him as a mediocrity. The powerful Chechen also claimed to have personally warned Russian Army Chief General Valery Gerasimov of impending doom. The general said, I have no reservations about Lapin's ability to lead, and I don't think a retreat is feasible in this situation, Lyman and its neighborhood, he said. Colonel General Alexander Lapin, the commander in charge at Lyman, was to have his high position and hero of Russia honor taken away, according to Kadyrov. He is being concealed by his general staff superiors, according to Kadyrov. If I had my way, Lapin would have been demoted to private, denied his honors, and he is being concealed by his general staff superiors, according to Kadyrov. If I had my way, Lapin would have been reduced to the rank of private, stripped of his honors, and deployed to the front lines to wipe away his humiliation while holding a rifle. Next, he charged that Defense Minister Shoigu had misled Putin over the state of the battlefield. We need to take more serious steps, the speaker said, but I don't know what the Defense Ministry submits to the Supreme Commander-in-Chief, Putin. He blasted the military for not routing the alleged Satanists and fascists in Ukraine. The latest looming surrender in occupied Ukraine drew scathing criticism from even Putin himself.